today coding quest is to work on the user profile component of my open source project and if i have time i'm going to work on the forget password functionality as well so stay tuned until the end to see if i finish either one of the uh, feature so i will also show you how to set up if i finish one of the feature as well okay All right, so right now I'm going to show you what I have done and also show you how to set up and use it as well. So what I have done is just finish the user profile component right here. So you can go into the link in the description to the doc this documentation. And right now you have this component right here. It's not looking good here, but when you use it, it's going to look a, a lot better. Uh, and so as you can see, when you click on this one, well, we, you can do sign out or you can manage account. If you click on manage account, you will see that we have like the profile, we have the email and the connected when we're using like an email or if you're using with Google or GitHub or Discord is going to uh, give you different value right here. But this is just a static value. But so when we use it, uh, we're going to uh, the value, it may change based on the user. And right now there's no more functionality on this one. So this is like the first version of what I'm doing. So maybe the second version is I'm going to enable the user to be able to change their email, to change their current password, uh, and basically uh, upload their profile photo and things like that inside this component right here. And uh, I think it's gonna take more time. So I think I, I'm gonna ship the first simple version right here and we can update it later. So right now, uh, let's use it. And so the, to, to use it, uh, basically we need to uh, run this uh, command right here. So make sure you uh, run all of the component before, otherwise it's going to be break. Uh, I mean like the installation, the init and things like that as well. So since I have done that in my previous video already, so I'm gonna focus on this component. So basically I'm gonna copy this command. Let's go into one of the uh, file that I have uh, using right here. Um, I think this is the one, right? Uh, yeah, this is the one. So this is, uh, as you can see, this is my tech sup uh, test super R. So basically this repository is for testing uh, this library. And so what I'm going to do is just pasting this command right here. So it's going to uh, add the user profile component. So this uh, project, I added like register and sign in before in my previous video already. So right now it's gonna ask me for the installation. I'm going to proceed. And so right now it's going to create a file and install all the uh, necessary library that is needed for this component to work. And if we look back into the documentation, so it's going to create I think that this documentation is wrong. Maybe I need to update. So it's going to create like four to five files. So we have like the components of the user profile. We have the avatar and then we have the manage user. And for the session and the user information, I'm using a React query. So we need to use the uh, um, create query provider for you. So we need to set that up in the layout. And also we have the hook like use user to, so you can get access of the user information right here. So right now, if the installation is complete, Okay, so right now, as you can see, the installation is complete. So uh, if you look at this, is this is going to be nine file that's created from that command. And it's installed a lot of, of things here. And right now, let's try to use this one. Um, and so to use this one, I'm going to like copy the code uh, real quick from the other project that I have. So this uh, may be um, this one right here. So basically, I'm just going to copy the dashboard uh, page right here and then I'm going to reuse it in my uh, component right here okay so right here I have the dashboard and so basically I'm just going to paste this one so I have my dashboard right here so my dashboard right now so I'm going just to import the user profile and the 
um, the uh, manage profile right here. I think I only need to use a profile. So I'm going to remove this one. And this one is going to import from super auth. Okay, so as you can see, we have the component super auth and user profile right here. And I have the dashboard right here. So great. So right now I have used this one. So let's go ahead and to localhost 3000 and let's go to the dashboard. Ah, I think one thing that I forgot and on this one is to go to layout and then I need to add the query provider because we're using the React query. So uh, so then we need to import the query provider right here. Otherwise, it's going to not working. So let's do this and then let's do auto import. It's from the component and query provider. So if I go back, I should be able to see this one. It's going to take a while for this page to compile. So as you can see right now, it's compiling the dashboard. Okay, so right now we have React Query uh, up and running. So we can see this one. And right now, if I try to go to the dashboard, uh, and if the user is logged in, so you can see, I can be able to see my information right here. Right now, let's try to do sign out, and then we can see, okay. It look like uh, I do not have sign in page in my test right here. All right, that's um, that's fine. Maybe I need to uh, test this one. I need to install the uh, add the sign uh, sign in page as well. But as of now, I can go to register page. It's fine. So let's go just go to register. So when you register uh, and then when you log in, it's gonna behave the same thing as uh, like you know user authentication, and so. It, it's fine. So uh, what I need to do here, I'm going to log in with GitHub. So I'm going to click on this one. So it's going to authenticate with GitHub. So as you can see right now, because the default redirect is to homepage, but we can, you can change it as well. If we navigate to the dashboard and we have this arrow right here. Okay, this arrow right here, it's fine. So basically we just needing to add the this one to our uh, next config so that is going to be fine so we need to fix that one as well i think uh, the arrow right here if you run into you need to set up on your own um let's do the image and i think this is going to be remote pattern and this is going to be the array right the host names i think the host name is going to be this one and then we go into the another one is going to be protocol it's going to be https i think that's what we need since we update this one so we need to uh, restart the server again so in order to uh, make it work uh, right now if i come back here and then if i refresh so uh, things should be working right here okay so right now as you can see uh, after that we can see we have this user and we have this email and then if we register uh, we manage account so we can see that the profile and we have like uh, the email and uh, like you know information about this account right here so this is a very basic one and uh, I, th I think it's responsive as well hopefully yeah it is responsive that's good and so if you don't like anything you can just go to the code and just change it directly by yourself and so um, as you can see right here that's good and all right great so right now after we sign out so after we sign out right here the component is to redirect to the signing page uh, but due to this test project right here i do not creating the uh, signing page that's why we see it's none uh, for 404 but um, if you want you can set up on your own as well because since i have all, all, also in the uh, library we also have the sign-in component so you can just um, add it and use it as well so i think that pretty much it so uh, i haven't uh, have a chance to work on the forget password so maybe tomorrow or the next day when i'm work on this one so I'm, that's my main objective i will work on the forget password so yeah so give it a try and uh, let me know if you face any error so i would love to hear that from you and uh, don't forget to comment down below and so then i can know what you are running to the error so then i can uh, go and update the package uh, and yeah so hopefully you enjoyed this video and as always thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe See you in the next video. Bye-bye.